appropriate act your mountains are gone keep up those signs father in jesus name we thank you tonight for the assurance you have given us that every prayer has been answered in jesus name wipe the tears of your people away take their sorrow away take their griefs away and every oppression of the devil i command come out in jesus name and all the mountain of problems that they are presented before you and they have asked you to remove lord a confirmation in every every life tonight in jesus name mountains get out in jesus name attacks affliction get out in jesus name impossibilities be possible in jesus name lord i pray every miracle that is needed now from all the people asking you whatever the miracle may be do it for every one of them in jesus name blind eyes be opened in jesus name if you're lame rise up and walk in jesus name hunch back vanish away in jesus name and lord i pray for those who need miracle children lord grant them their petition grant them their answer miracle children in jesus name you are concerned for a boy concerned for a girl concerned for a son concerned for a daughter lord i pray you answer their prayers all those concerns fulfill them in jesus name you lost somebody you've been looking for them wherever they are now spirit of the living god search them out bring them back and let there be reunion to their families in jesus name you have been waiting for the will of god in marriage lord i pray you open doors for them right now they have asked they have sought they have not opened the door for everyone in jesus name provision abundance for the jobless provide for everyone lord i pray there is a verity a certainty and assurance in every life tonight every prayer has been answered every yoke has been broken put smile upon every face laughter in every mouth miracle for everyone confirm it in every life lord in jesus name i pray than 10 kilometers north of the Atlantic Ocean, enslaved by same depravities that have plagued humankind globally. Strange diseases, defiling medical interventions, occultism in high dimensions, dishonesty, wickedness, and more to mention. But a single look, a look to the author and finisher signals the authority. It's a power shift. Power from on high upon your life you've never seen anything like this before the day when everything that is dead dormant door in your life will rise up july 28th to august 2nd 2022 1600 hours gmt daily and 0700 hours gmt sunday worship service packaged on a global scale for all men women ministers and professionals children youths and young adults a total package by the Calvena pastor dr w f kumui at the gck july edition live at ikorudu lagos state nigeria poised to reveal total emancipation by the authority 
of Christ. The inspirational and international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, will be ministering along with Jeff Dio, our guest music minister. Coming to you live from Ikorodu, Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria. And broadcast to the world via satellite, social media, radio and television. We are inviting the entire populace in and around Lagos. PFL Lagos is fully involved and our men and women and youth have been charged have been given the marching order to ensure that this thing is a huge success. We are praying, we are believing, we are putting the network and our resources into it. And we trust at the end of it all, millions of souls will be gladly brought into the kingdom of God. GCK, in the seventh month, globally packaged to perfect total emancipation by the authority of Jesus Christ. Get ready for total freedom. This July, I'm going to grab you by the hand, drag you out of the valley, and I'm going to drag you to the mountain top. The Global Crusade with Kumui. GCK Authority is coming. I want us to be taking the pastor prayer serious anytime GS is praying. This is the reason we are here. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, no one among us will go empty handed in Jesus' name. I I want to welcome Brother Stephen. I told Daddy that by the time he is talking to you, uh you will tell him you have seen, you have participated, and you have story to tell. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you have seen it since morning. We took up. You have seen the challenges. You have seen the the ball. Please let us be concentrated. You have seen the ball in our court. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not do it in vain, in Jesus' name. Uh, we, I want to appreciate every one of us, the Amanda and the other, for what we witnessed today with Frank. And then I want to encourage you also with a book of, let's say, classes, uh, which everybody believes as a preacher. Chapter 7, verse 2. Verse 7, verse 2. Please. Uh, that one is after proverb. It's after for proverb. The book of, and uh, I want Amanda to listen because she sacrificed a lot this morning. Uh, eh? The book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, Ecclesiastes. Can Amanda see it? Chapter 7. I know you sacrificed a lot this morning. He said, A good name. Is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. Have all of us seen it? He said, It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it. To his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Chapter 7. It's after proverb. Ecclesiastes is after proverb. Chapter 7. So we are in, let me start from verse 2 again. It said, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. 
For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise, wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fool, of fool is in the house of meat. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of tongue under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This is also a vanity. Surely, oppression makes a wise man mad, and the gift destroy the earth. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud of spirit. I can see a lot of things we went through through the Frank. But I want us to know that Jesus Christ sacrificed more than that for us. And at any time we see something like that, let us just be encouraged. Yeah. Maybe you are not there. Okay. So, because uh, we know the time we took commander before we get to your place. So anytime we see something like that, let us be encouraged that that's the sacrifice we need to sacrifice. I mean, sacrifice we need to offer to able to bring uh, people into the house of the Lord. And as we are doing it, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are not going to do it in vain in Jesus' name. I remember the, the situation there was a day we went to his house we need to bring him to the church and then but we see when we didn't stop we see the improvement the joy of the lord will continue to be our strength in jesus name and the hand of the lord we could continue to be upon us in jesus name continue to pray for me and my children and my family in general it is been a challenge i told daddy you will tell him a lot but we never relent we never relent. If you see the way people are looking at the Palai Bible Church, Charlotte Faith, if you see the way you see it, you will see that a lot of work is being done by God to bring us to this level. And I told that day, now by the power and the blood of Jesus, by the time you see, you will see that every one of us will have a grace and you will renew your commitment to Almighty God. To take you to higher places in Jesus' name. Once again, I want to appreciate everyone of us. I thank you for being in the church today. Almighty God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Do not forget the Bible study tomorrow. And then, Sister Amanda, do not forget the assignment I gave to you. To yeah, yeah. No, there's no mistake in there's no uh excuse in by that. I, the sister I tell you to invite. Do not forget. Do all what you can do to invite him. And as I told you in the this morning, do not forget that many people are looking at you and continue to do all your best to make sure that uh, they see you as a as a steward that they can follow. And then as your presence, as we are seeing you in the church, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, is going to be influencing others in Jesus' name. It's good when we are in a small church whereby uh, our presence is being failed than when we are in a larger church. Uh, it's like we are just going. Nothing is happening. So God will continue to help you, uh, Sister Amanda, and the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon you in Jesus' name. Your effort will not be in vain in Jesus' name. So let us distribute this trust. Do not forget Bible study tomorrow. Give everybody to two. Uh, no, I don't think. Okay, just give give everybody to two.
as I was saying, uh, the the people in the Eleven streets, they are surprising me a lot. Everywhere on the board, uh, the, on their door, you see the trash. So please, let everyone of us come. Uh, Titi, I want to see the trash in your, in your door. Yeah. This trash, this, I want to see it in your door. I want you to post it there, in your door, at home. When you get home, yeah, I want you to put it in your door. In your door when you get home. Sister Amanda, I want to see it in your environment too. I came there yesterday. I was looking for it. I didn't see it. I want to see it in maybe in your door too. So that any people that want to come to see you, that's the first thing they will see. So once again, I want to appreciate everyone of us. Thank you. God bless you. Let us bring our Titan offering. Let us bring our Titan offering. Do you have any Titan offering? Let's start up and raise our Tatan offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, let everybody stand up. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of your love. We thank you, Lord, because of what you are doing for us and what you still continue to do for us. Oh, mighty Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, out of what you are giving to us, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. And let your name be glorified. For those people who does not have Father provide for them. For those people who have, but they don't know how to give Father to their hearts. Almighty Father, we pray that this we are dropping for you a million food. You are going to return for us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Remember when you are dropping your offering into the bag, you need to close your eyes. The first person must not know what the second person is doing. It is not you to know the person that bring money to the church of the Lord or the person that does not bring offering. It is you to examine yourself if you have brought your own.
As we are dropping that offering, continue to call upon the name of the Lord. The sorrow, accident, uncertainty. You are dropping to the that offering bag. And the grace of the Lord will continue to follow you anywhere you go. In Jesus' name we pray. Do not forget the Bible study tomorrow. Do not forget that we have more people on Monday Bible study than the Sunday service. And uh, as all of us present tomorrow, the joy of the Lord will be present with us in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. I come and supervise them, give them the tutu soda, and then the service is over. we we'll see by the grace of the Lord tomorrow. Uh, you can sit down. I will pick you tomorrow by the grace of the Lord. Uh, take whatever you want to take on the table. Whatever you need, please take it on the table.
vous serez plus les mêmes au nom de Jésus Christ. Prions ensemble. Père, nous te remercions pour ce moment. Nous te remercions pour ce temps-ci. Nous te remercions pour ton amour pour chacun de tes enfants. Nous demandons, Seigneur, que ce culte d'adoration soit un temps de réveil pour tout le monde, un temps de rafraîchissement pour tout le monde, et que la puissance inspire tout le monde au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous te remercions, Seigneur, parce que tu nous as exaucés. Aide-nous à redécouvrir et à récupérer tout ce que nous avons perdu et que la force du Seigneur et la force de l'Esprit viennent sur chacun de nous adorant avec nous aujourd'hui au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous te remercions parce que tu nous as exaucés. Au nom puissant de Jésus, nous prions. Amen. Aujourd'hui déjà, nous avons étudié de Somme 8 et 9 au, au cours de notre session du sondage. Cette fois-ci, je vais voir Somme 8 et je prends certains versets de Somme 8 et par là, nous allons nous plonger à ce que le Seigneur a pour nous aujourd'hui. Mais que je retourne à Genèse chapitre 1, verset 26. Genèse 1, 26. Et puis Dieu dit, faisons l'homme à notre image, selon notre ressemblance, et qu'il domine sur les poissons de la mer, sur les oiseaux du ciel, sur le bétail, sur toute la terre, et sur tous les reptiles qui rampent sur la terre. Et puis il a dit au verset 27, Dieu créa l'homme à son image. Il le créa à l'image de Dieu, il créa l'homme et la femme. 28. Voyons ceci, je veux que vous remarquiez un mot particulier. Si Dieu l'a béni et Dieu vous bénira aujourd'hui et va vous bénir continuellement. Et Dieu leur dit, soyez féconds, vous serez féconds dans toutes les matières, dans tous les domaines, spirituellement, physiquement, matériellement, dans l'œuvre de mort, votre main, vous serez fructueux, fécond au nom de Jésus. Dieu les bénit, Dieu leur dit, soyez fécond, multipliez, remplissez la terre, et la sujette ici, et, dit, et dominez sur les poissons. Vous ne devez pas être un homme piétiné, vous devez être, vous tenir homme. Debout, vous devez avoir l'épine dorsale, vous devez avoir l'autorité, la domination. Adam était créé, Adam et Eve. Speak to our heart in Jesus' name. So we are going to the session of Corosis, take control, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Sing, amen, amen, rejoice, amen, amen. Glory be to the Lord, amen, amen. Glory be to the Lord. Amen. Let us sing. Amen. I rejoice. Amen. Amen. Glory be to our God. Amen. Amen. Be to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise His holy name, praise the Lord. I believe the Bible, I believe the Bible, I believe the Bible is the word of God. I believe the Bible. Is the word of God. Hallelujah. I believe the Bible. Is the word of God. Hallelujah. I believe the Bible. I 
I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that planted by the waters. I shall not be moved, I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that planted by the waters. I shall not be moved, I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that planted by the wall. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, oh my Father. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, nearer to thee, O oh Lord. Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to thee, draw me nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, hold oh, my song every day. Lord, my songs every day. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. I love him better every day. I love him better every day. Close to his side, I will abide. I love him better every day, better every day. Better every day. Hey, close to his side. I love him better every day, better every day. Better every day, Lord. I will go, I will go. I will go and tell them Jesus is alive. Will you go? I will go. Jesus is alive. Will you go? 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 It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walk in the light of God, oh, walk, walk, walk in the light, oh, walk, brethren, walk, let us walk in the light, oh, walk. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. 
walking in the light of God. Oh, walk, walk. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am promising him that I will serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. For my Lord, I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I will serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my, for my Lord. To field for my Lord, for my Lord. The battlefield for my Lord. I am promising him that I will serve him till I die. For my Lord. For my Lord. For my Lord. I am promising him that I. On the battlefield for my, for my Lord. Until I die, I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion, Lord. He's good enough for me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that old time religion, Lord. He's good enough for me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that old time religion, Lord. It's good enough for me. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Mary and Martha. It was good for Paul and Silas, Lord. It's good enough for me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. GHS 100. Gospel and Song 100. And nine, JHS one o nine to the work, to the work, to the work. We are servants of God. Let us follow the path that our master has trod with the balm of his counsel and strength. To renew our strength to renew. Let us do with our might what our hands find to do. To the work, to the work. Let the hungry be fed. To the fountain of life, let the weary be led. In the cross and its banner, our glory shall be. While we herald the tiding, salvation is free. To the work, to the work. There is labor for all, for the kingdom of darkness and error shall fall, and the name of Jehovah exalted shall be. In the loud swelling chorus, salvation is free. To the work, to the work, in the strength of the Lord, and a robe and a crown shall our labor reward. When the home of the faithful our dwelling shall be, and we shout with the ransomed, salvation is free. Toiling on, toiling on, toiling on, toiling on. Let us hope, let us watch, and labor till the master comes.
Today we are going to continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Genesis chapter 20. Genesis chapter 20. And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country and dwelled between Kadesh and Shur and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man, for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her, and he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, She is my sister? And she, even she herself, said, He is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears, and the men were sore afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us, and what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, what sawest thou that thou hast done this thing? And Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said unto her, This is thy kindness which thou shalt show unto me. At every place whither we shall come, say of me, He is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and men servants and women servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him Sarah his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee. Dwell where it pleaseth thee. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other. Thus she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. Chapter 21 And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, 
God hath made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which he had borne unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bowshot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew, and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Phicol, the chief captain of his host, spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou doest. Now therefore swear unto me here by God that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I wot not who hath done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard I of it but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, what mean these seven ewe lambs which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs shalt thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there they swear both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Beersheba. Then Abimelech rose up, and Phicol, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land many days. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you are blunt in the word of God. In Jesus' name, 
we pray. God supply my every need. I'm peculiar. I'm getting more peculiar. Walking around, talking prosperity. I'm living in health with my spirit. Peculiar. I'm getting more peculiar. I wish the sun. Not of this world. The light has come and the world unveiled. No way natural thinking can agree. 